All right, so let's get started. Um, as you guys all know, this is our community call that happens every first Wednesday of every month. So it's like monthly call. And we discuss here the updates on the technical side as well as the subgroup site um, that what's going on on Zeek. So I'll, without further ado, ask Christian if he would like to share um, technical updates on the Zeek project side. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you, Fatima. I can do a, a technical update today. Um, so we're uh, progressing further toward the 5.1 release. There have been a couple of sort of major things that have been happening. So on the one hand, um, we've done a big security push. We had um, a point release that was basically almost exclusively due to um, fuzzer findings, which is, I think, the first time ever that this has happened. We sort of opened Pandora's box there a little bit <laughs> in that OSS Plus has been doing a terrific job finding issues for us to fix. Uh, Tim has been very busy tackling those. Uh, so that's been going well. And um, we've also made progress with some issues that we found in the 5.0 release in the in the broker department uh, that could cause um, logging to sort of freeze up for some folks. Um, so that should be you know, under control for 5.1 as well. We're, uh, we have a, an approximate schedule for the 5.1 release, which involves um, forking the release branch in the middle of the month. Um, and then hopefully releasing at the beginning of October, um, depending on how things go in the testing group, um, as usual. I think that's all I have right now on the technical front, but let me know, folks, if I overlooked anything there. Good. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> all right. Are there any questions for Christian on the technical update side from the folks? Okay, if not, then I'll move on and ask Johanna if she would like to share the uh, updates from the Zeek LT side. Uh, sure, thank you. So first, as always, uh, I will mention that if you're interested in what the Zeek LT does, you can find the meeting notes in the Zeek Wiki, and they are um, also linked from the leadership team page on Zeek.org. And um, apart from that, this will be a rather short. The Zeek LT in the last time mostly has been busy um, with... Um, things that have to do with Seek Week, so with organizational things uh, around that. We are very close to being done with finalizing what will be and what will not be in the Seek, pro uh, Seek Week program, and we currently plan to um, have that out either at the end of this week or at the beginning of next-ish week. And I think nearly all of the big happenings have been around Seek Week, so this is a very, very short update. Thanks, Johanna. Are there any questions um, regarding the Zeek Week or LT updates <clears throat> for Johanna? All right. If not, then I will ask if Richard, do you have anything to share from the Zeek documentation group? I do not. I do not. Sorry, Phenom. Yeah, I, I don't have anything. Um, yeah, I don't. If you can sign up for Zeek Week, though, and you're interested in going, please check it out. Well, on that note, I would really um, like to talk about Zeek Week that um, is going to happen in October 12, 13, and 14. And we have like a great lineup of speakers and agenda, which is going to come soon on the website. So if you guys haven't registered already, I would highly recommend to register. That's the only chance you can get to meet all the co-developers of the project who work behind the scenes in, in person this year in Austin. So, uh, and they all will be there. So it's, it's a great opportunity to meet you, uh, to meet all of the um, developers and the user community. And that's like once a year opportunity. And this is like after two years, we're hosting in person. So really avail that opportunity if you would like to, you know, hang out in person. And um, lastly, on the training side uh, of the things, so I can give an update, quick update on the training sides of things. So we, for the first time in forever, we are going to give an intermediate to Zeek training. And we are very excited about it because this is the first time we're giving the um, cluster version of training. So how you can run Zeek in production. And then we have some new elements to it. So like Christian is also going to talk about the management framework. So I'm not going to steal the thunder away from him, but stay tuned. Like it's, that's an in-person training only event. So, and that's going to happen first time. 
So it, we will really appreciate if you guys um, would like to attend, in, attend it in person and if you guys can register for it. Um, other than that, we are also going to have another parallel training, which will be more advanced side. And Ashish is going to present that training. It's like a whole day event. So you can either go to the intermediate to Zeek training or Ashish's hands-on training. And he will be, he will be talking more about um, Zeek scripting side of things and how you can write an efficient Zeek script for detections and whatnot. So this, again, this will be in-person training this year in Austin, and we are re really excited about it. So that was just like, and we're still working on the training content and putting it together for the uh, for the Zeek week this year. So that's pretty much the training side update so far. Um, also, um, not to um, like we all we already have a Zeek um, Zeek approved training framework. So just a reminder to folks that if you have some training content that you present in um, like related to Zeek. We have a web form that you can go to zeek.org slash training, and then all the information is there. So if you would like to use official Zeek logo and official Zeek approved training logo on your training and get it vetted through like the Zeek developer side and community side of things, just to get more, um, uh, more uh, like professional content, then feel free to use that form to submit your trainings. And it's kind of like a four week or three week long process, depending on how busy people are during that part of the year. But you will get your training vetted from the Z developer site. So you can officially use the logos on your training. Um, and that's kind of like uh, the process we have put in place from last year. So feel free to use that framework and get us any feedback you have regarding the process. So we would really appreciate if you have any feedback uh, regarding the submission process or the vetting process or the feedback process. We would really um, appreciate if you have um, and feedback for us on that part. Um, other than that, yeah, stay tuned for like fully, um, a fully organized agenda for Zeek Week this year. Uh, and it's again going to be on our zeek.org page. And then feel free to reach out to us uh, if you have any questions regarding Zeek trainings, regarding Zeek Week or, you know, um, anything related to Zeek. And we also have Slack channels and um, you can totally, it's free. You can totally join the, any of the Slack channels and um, post questions there. We are pretty much keep an eye on uh, people's comments and questions and feedback. So you can reach out to us there as well. So other than that, um, I think that's the pretty much update wrap for this call, unless anyone else have anything to share or ask any questions. This is the time to do that. Hi, this is Don Thomas. It's been a while since I've attended uh, one of your meetings. How are you doing? Um, I also run the Southern California Linux Expo security track, and we're just starting to line up for next year for March. We just had our, our little expo this year because of there was little tents with COVID. But I want to highlight one particular security tool, and I would like to highlight Zeek as a security tool for the next expo. Um, I'd like to get one of your speakers to be able to do a one hour talk, sort of explain to the uh, security uh, track, uh, what Zeek is, how it fits, and uh, get more people a little bit more educated. Um, there's also other opportunities to provide, um, you know, training or, or if you guys wanna do that, um, but I wanna highlight Zeek for the next round in March. That's awesome. Um, hi, Don. Um, nice to meet you. Thanks for hopping in. Uh, we were really yeah. excited and look forward to your expo. If that's like a training um, that you are going to give or if or if you are having a speaker from the Z community side and if you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, we have a community email address as well as a training, separate training email um, group that you can email if you are queries to. And then we can work on that as well. I'm not sure what you're looking for right now. Like, are you looking for a speaker from our side or are you just giving um, a technical speaker that can give sort of an overview of, of Zeek um, for a one hour talk? And then um, there's other opportunities, like I mentioned there. This is where all open source comes together. Um, this is where you'll see all the big open source players. And uh, it's also a good opportunity for you know, companies to hire people that have knowledge about 
open source as well. So it's we usually have about 3,500 people there. So it's not a small event. Gotcha. So um, Johanna and Seth and Christian can jump in uh, if I'm incorrect, but the best way to reach out for that is um, we have seen people reaching out at Seek at LT because that like mostly people from the developer side are there. We have a team email address as well, as well as Slack. You can mention it in Slack and whoever is available during that period of um, time during mm -hmm. that month of the year, then we can reach out to you and then we can work out like okay. that. I'm on Slack as well. So uh, we'll reach out and keep in touch that way. But I just want to let you guys know that we're planning something way out in March. Cool. Uh, if you're on Zeke Slack, then, and if you don't have those uh, group email address, I can provide those to you so that you can shoot an email with the agenda dates and times of the event and how to register and what is required to do that. And then whoever is available from the technical side or the community side, we will make sure that we can arrange that as okay. best as we can. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm there. So I'll just say hi in the general channel. That way yeah. you guys know who I am. Yeah, that would be great. And uh, after this call, I will reach out to you and I'll share the email address information so that you can just shoot an email with all okay, the great. details. And then we can work from there. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll talk okay. to you. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that information. Um, all right. So if there is nothing else, um, if people would like to ask questions or if there's nothing else, then we can adjourn this meeting. I'll give like five minutes. Okay, five minutes is too long. Are there any questions uh, or comments people would like to add? Cool. All right. If nothing else, then uh, I will see you guys next month. Thanks for the updates, folks. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. You Bye. too. Bye, Christian.